close your eyes and watch your breath. You're trying to get the mind in a good state of concentration. You can do that with the breath. You can do it with thoughts of goodwill, wishing for the well-being of all beings, and thinking about what that means. Beings are happy based on their actions. And you not only want them to be happy, but you also want them to do things that are really conducive to happiness, genuine happiness, which is a wish you can have for anybody. Because as the Buddha said, the actions that lead to genuine happiness are, are three, basically. They come down to generosity, virtue, and they start with meditation, starting with thoughts of goodwill. He calls these acts of merit, and he said the acts of merit are happiness. They're happy in the doing, and because they're ways of finding happiness that doesn't cause harm to anybody else, they're happy in their long-term results. When they talk about accumulating merit or stocking up merit, that's what they're talking about. You're stocking up good actions as part of your fund. So in this way you have pleasure now and on in the future. That kind of pleasure, that kind of happiness is hard to find in the world. There are a lot of pleasures that lead to a lot of harm in the long term. both for yourself and for other people. So it's good to try to find a way of finding happiness that doesn't harm anybody. Because if your happiness harms yourself, it's really not worth it. It's the kind of happiness that helps yourself and helps others at the same time, erases boundaries. That kind of happiness is good for everybody. And again, it's good in the long term. They said they talk about stocking up good karma, stocking up merit. This is what you're stocking up, the good actions that you've done, and trying to find happiness in a wise way. Realizing that if your happiness depends on the suffering of others, it's not going to last. They'll do what they can to destroy it. And even if they don't manage to destroy it this time around, when you come back you'll have that burden of the unskillful actions you did to harm others. So if you're really serious about being happy, you want to look for a happiness that doesn't have any drawbacks, doesn't harm anybody in any way at all. Generosity is one of those ways. You have something to share, you're happy to share it. There's pleasure in the giving. You see other people enjoying what you're given, there's pleasure in that. And it makes the mind a much wider place. It's not narrow and selfish. You're living in a generous mind, which is like living in a large home as opposed to living in a tiny little alleyway. The same with virtue. You think about the pleasure you could get about lying to other people or stealing something from them or having illicit sex or whatever and taking drugs or intoxicants or killing inconvenient little pests. But then you realize, okay, there's going to be karma coming with that. They're causing harm. In the long term, that can't be good. And so you think about the well-being of others and yourself at the same time. Again, that makes your mind wider. And when you meditate, of course, it's even wider. All beings. You're wishing for their happiness, wishing that everybody in the world would figure out how to be more generous, how to be more virtuous, how to treat one another with goodwill. That expands your mind to, as the Buddha said, an unlimited extent. So you're living in a larger mind. Your sense of yourself becomes larger as well, larger in the sense of being more open and expansive. Not that you're trying to push other people out, but you're Happiness doesn't have to conflict with theirs, which is what takes away the boundaries you tend to put around yourself, tend to put around your mind. So think of acts of merit as a way of developing the mind, of developing happiness in a way that will be for your benefit for a long time, something you really can stock up on, all that good karma, because that's going to provide the raw materials for our, the rest of our lives and the rest of this life and the rest of whatever life comes after that. That'll be your raw materials. So make sure that the raw materials are good, and it makes it a lot easier to make something good out of the out of good raw materials. And this way, you're giving yourself a leg up on genuine happiness at the same time, helping to contribute to the happiness of others. If we all had this attitude, the, the boundaries that divide us in society would be dissolved. And the human world would be a lot better place to better place to be with. Well, we can't wait for everybody else, but we can start with ourselves. At the very least, we can make our minds a better place to be. 
by making it more expansive as you stock up more and more merit. 